Now, normally when I do a grid, when I do a crystal Merkel bar grid journey, it's a good hour, an hour and a half, because I take you through a whole process where I explain the grid point, I explain about all the different um, energies available. I also go into some um, mystery school teachings as well, and then facilitate the Merkel bar, Merkel bar meditation at the end. Now, it's not possible on this masterclass to do that, but I am gonna take you straight into the Merkel bar journey, just so that you get a sense and understanding but what I would do is like to do is at least get to share with you for five minutes about Mount Shasta and what makes it so powerful so Mount Shasta is a, a mountain that is um, in in California, in Northern California. And it's actually still, a, in a way, it's an active volcano. And it's part of the Cascade Range, but also part of the uh, Ring of Fire. So it is a huge amount of energy that's involved. Now, when you think about volcanoes, what volcanoes do is they pull up energy, right? They pull it up right from the deep, deep within and pull it up. So it has a very um, pulling up energy to it. So this is one thing that, that um, this whole grid point does. It does pull up a lot. It puts you through a state of purification. Now, the interesting thing with Mount Shasta is that it actually resonates to the new earth template. So what the new earth template is, is basically the kind of the new blueprint that we're being birthed into, right? And, and that's like at the, core, the very core of who you are. It's your holographic template through which everything is created. So when you work at that level, you can't really work any deeper uh, when you're working at that level, when you're working holographically. And so each one of us is, is bit by bit, you know, shifting, trying to shift that holographic blueprint because of the mutation process that's going on for us to go from what we call an Adam body. So that was our body, which um, was resonating and structured as a, on a 3D level, is transmuting and transfiguring into the Adam Cadden body which is our body of light. And this is the process that we're, we're going through to um, enable us, to give us the architecture through which a whole new reality can birth. And so Mount Shasta, one of the unique things about Mount Shasta is that it resonates to that new frequency. It also has a very malleable energy around it. And what I mean by that is some people say, oh, it's the base chakra for the world. Other people say, no, actually, it's the crown chakra for the world. Other people say it's the third eye chakra for the world. I actually, in this particular journey that I facilitated a few days ago, I actually focused on the third eye uh, for Mount Shasta. And the thing with that is that what, with Mount Shasta, what's very amazing is that when people go there, well, it's actually attracted throughout the ages, poets, authors, all sorts of, um, you know, people that have gone there, had visions and then written books and, and just gone out into the world with the information that came through for them whilst they were, uh, whilst they visited Mount Chakra. Chester. It also has a lot of UFO activity. Um, also, uh, a lot of Lemurian codes there. There's um, some people say that there's a crystalline city in the center of uh, Mount Chester called Telos. Now, what you'll notice with all of this is that, you know, whether it's galactic and cosmic, whether it's ancient civilizations, whether it's, you know, all the UFO sightings, is that there's this whole um, energy around expanded levels of awareness, which come from through the third eye, right? But a grounding of that so that it's not just 
opening up the third eye, but it's actually then anchoring into your consciousness and your reality, the frequency, the codes, the visions, the revelations that came through from that sacred site. So it really is a very powerful sacred site for expanded levels of consciousness and grounding them into your reality because you're actually able to connect to them and see them. Because you cannot manifest and anchor something if you are not consciously aware of it. There's a whole process that you need to go through because you're going to need to take action on stuff to actually manifest it and make it concrete in your reality. Now, what also makes Mount Shasta very uh, special and powerful is that there is a lot of access points within the, 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 the whole area of Mount Shasta. And what I mean by that, there's different interdimensional portals and gateways that enable, um, you know, enable different experiences to come through. 